Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new type of video. Today, we're checking out the Snack World Treasure Box number one. And I know what you're thinking, John, the Snack World? Is this your food reviewed spin-off? No! This is actually Level 5's brand new cross-media project. This box right here contains 10 treasures for us to open up. Now, let's talk about the Snack World real briefly since this is uh, sort of the first introduction for it. It's a brand new game coming out next month and already has an anime going on in Japan. Along with that, there's these toys and they're pretty darn cool. So let's try it out. Now, before we just dive right in, I just want to talk about the main character. Is Chup not the coolest design of all time? I love the 3D like animation. There's also Mayone, the girl who is uh, named after mayonnaise, Pepperone, and uh, yeah, there's this little goblin guy down there. I don't know his name because he's not that important, but inside here you have 10 toys. Now, there's two different kinds of toys. There's the treasure and there's the snacks. Now, the snacks are basically the monsters that you encounter inside the snack world for 3DS, which, oh my gosh, when we get that game, I'm going to be so excited. But by using an NFC reader or the uh, fairy pwn, which pretty much just looks like a cell phone, I guess it's a pun on that, you can put them into your game. And depending on what you get in these boxes, oh man, that looks so cool, you're going to get some pretty cool additions to your game. Now, let's just remove all the tape and get straight into it. But oh snap, there it is. So this is the uh, store display that they usually have in Japan, and it does not want to go down. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, there's 10 treasure chests, and inside of them, there are 12 Jara and 10 snacks inside. And that pretty much means no matter how hard you try or how lucky you are, you cannot complete a set with just one box. But the box isn't actually that expensive, so hey, once the uh, pre-orders come back, I might grab a second one. But the rarest of all the Jara is this sword right here. It is retailing for about $100 on Amazon Japan right now, so if I pull that, you better believe I'm going to be excited. But notable ones are the uh, Dark Crystal Sword and the Vanilla Crystal Sword. As far as the snacks go, you have uh, Pinocchio 3.0, which is kind of cool, I guess. And there's also these uh, three genie men who you can't really make out here, but those are the two secret rare snacks for this set. So now that we've taken care of all of the prep work, Let's check out the Snack World boxes. And I gotta say, look at these little things. They are so goddamn cool. Like, man, that is such a, it's just such a cool little treasure chest. And these are identical to how they look inside the 3DS game. And it advertised, yeah, you can get either a snack or a Jara. You'll know once you open it up. But man, take a look at that. It's pretty interesting that uh, Tomi is actually doing the production instead of Bandai. But I guess Bandai is kind of busy making all the Yokai Watch toys. But uh, yeah. Let's crack this one open, and how do we even do that? Oh, goodness. This is all uh, uncharted territory for me, guys. Pardon me. Looks like... Okay. Uh, let's just grab right there. Come on. Hoping for a crystal sword. That'd be really stinking cool. All right, so you just you just grab like this, and you let it rip. Oh, that, that did not work at all. Okay. <laughs> Either way, though, the chest has been opened. And inside, will we get a treasure or a snack? Who knows? Let's find out. And I, it feels so weird to keep saying snack like that, but no, it, it's actually the collectible type of monster, not something edible. But that is kind of a missed opportunity in my eyes. But uh, uh, there we go. And ooh, this one feels like it's a. I think this is a snack. Okay, so hoping for something good. And what is this attached to it? What the heck? It looks to be the uh, green guy on the box, just like a little plastic figure. I don't know what this is. It's definitely not edible. Just. I don't know, I guess that's cool, but on to the main attraction. Our first snack of the snack world. Uh, let's see what we get and how do we, oh, there it is. <laughs> There's the part you tear and our first one is going to be, wait for it, oh, uh, what? No way! This is actually the rare one. I, I'm actually kind of not happy I got this guy though. Oh my gosh. So it's really difficult to show on camera, but it's actually a transparent uh, little piece of plastic and it contains these three gentlemen who, uh, I'll, I'll just show what they look like. Oh my, they're very creepy, but hey, now they're mine to command. So that is, uh, one of the more rare snacks to pull, actually, based on some Japanese videos I've seen. So, hey, I'm digging that. So not bad for our first pull of Snack World stuff, but, uh, 
on to the next one really i'm all about the jara though i like the snacks i think it's a cool concept too but they're just ai companions i need actual gear to help me out in the rpg you know so let's see what we get next and oh yeah it's another one of those and a dagger that's kind of interesting but not the main appeal i probably won't be showing all those off but oh snap so this is our first uh jara it seems to be a fan <laughs> not the most practical weapon in the world but uh i wanted to show this off while we had a chance the jara actually have keychains because that's the whole gimmick they're supposed to be like your weapons that you have on a key then you take your fairy pawn and kind of put it on and scan it into the game via nfc reader and i don't know about you i think that's pretty cool so our first pull uh a fan it's cool i guess <laughs> hopefully we get the crystal sword or the blood sword That'd be pretty righteous, uh, if I do say so myself. I don't know all the monster names yet, and oh my gosh. Just kind of destroyed that packaging, didn't I? <laughs> but I'm going to try and learn them all, because I really see a lot of... Oh, there's Chubb. Nice. I see a lot of potential in Snack World, and I like that. Oh, I think we got another snack, and indeed it's uh this guy. He seems to be some sort of... uh. F fairy grandfather? I don't know. He, he kind of looks like Hungramps, actually, with that little flower or hibiscus, but, uh, eh, pretty cool snack. I'm not gonna lie. I really want to show off the functionality with the uh, fairy pond, but I still gotta get that in the mail. But on to, um, wow, is this already the fourth one? Holy crap. These fly by because there's only one thing in the pack. It's a lot, it's a lot different than uh, yokai medals. Oh my god. That one just flew out of there. Holy crap. That must mean it's super rare. Come on. Give me something good. Oh man, they're really hard to get out, actually. Uh, but that's half the fun of an unboxing video. They just slide out. Oh, this one's gonna be a snack. I can tell it's very, uh, it's very thin. Oh, or, no, it's actually gonna be a jar. I got them mixed up, but, uh, let's see what we get. Come on. Blood sword. Blood sword. <gasps> Crystal sword! Heck yeah! Check that out. Hold like, you're not guaranteed to get this, but this is sort of, uh, Chup's signature weapon that he uses in the TV show in the game, and Dang, that's nice. It is like a really cool, like, I don't even know if the camera can pick it up, but it's like a really cool transparent plastic they're using there. Man, that is sick. That's a cool keychain, not gonna lie. So, not bad. I got a, a secret rare uh, snack and well, a crystal sword. What more could a boy ask for? A blood sword, of course, but chances of us getting that are like, someone said one in 100. I don't know if that's true, but hey, if that's the case, Holy crap, that's a rare item, but, uh, <laughs> on to our next pull. Oh, I think it's a snack, and it's, oh, baby! That's my girl, the mermaid. I never really mentioned it before, but a lot of these snacks or monsters in the game are based on, uh, either just RPG tropes or mythical creatures. So here we have a very, uh, cute mermaid being a pop idol. Pretty neat. I think if you also scan these into your game, you get a special quest to get a stronger variant of this monster or snack added to your game. I don't know. Game isn't out yet. We don't even know. That's half the fun of it, though, but we're almost ha- Oh, man. We're almost halfway done. Holy crud, dude. That's scary. I don't know what- I don't know what we're gonna get. Man, crap. I really hope we get some more, um... The, the most variants I've seen are- You're definitely gonna get a lot of, uh just Jara, but so far we've been getting a lot of snacks, and oh snap, that's actually the main villain of the show, he's a little, he's a little fat, I don't know if you can tell, but uh, oh snap, I think, what are we gonna get, hopefully it's something decent, oh man, it does not want to come out, there we go, oh what the, I think that's a crystal knife, dang, I don't know uh, who makes this, there's a lot of brands in the snack world, every uh, company will have different way of making either equipment or armor or shields and stuff and i guess yeah that's like a either cyber knife or something oh man that looks really cool not the most uh, impressive item compared to the crystal sword but hey so far the only jar we got is a fan and a crystal sword so hey a little something in the middle ain't that bad but oh my gosh yeah you just crack them open you don't even need to like open up the thing but our next one will contain hopefully another secret rare if i got pinocchio 3.0 dude that'd be righteous i think that's his name and oh we got this little guy he seems to be uh <laughs> i have no clue what's up with him he's a little pig and there's some gears but uh yeah i actually don't know his name if anyone can clue me in i'd much appreciate that but i don't know he's kind of cute not bad at all i really want to get the scorpion guy though but seriously oh my gosh we have so many snacks and it's not even dinner time <laughs> I had to make that joke. You better believe when Snack World comes out. 
You're gonna see a lot of food puns. Just throwing that out there. I'm already ready, guys. You don't even know, but, uh... Next pack. They really wrap these things up tight, though. I'm, like, impressed. Like, if you want to get to these things, you're gonna have to go through a lot, dude. But pack number eight, now that has all the tape removed from it, will have... Oh, snap, I actually know this one. The Striped Sword, which has a uh, little orange to it. It's got a little paw print, too, which is kind of interesting. Another sword item. Oh, man, there's a little bit of plastic stuck on there. I'll have to remove that later, but not bad. It's pretty cool. It's actually, like... Feels pretty metal, even though it's very light, so I guess that's like aluminum or something. I don't know. Pretty cool. I definitely want to like check out all the brands, but oh no, we're down to our, la our last two treasure boxes. Hopefully it's something good in this one. Come on, guys. I need some of that luck. Come on, Blood Sword. Ugh, as I'm calling it. I don't actually know its Japanese name, but there's also an axe in here, too, which would be really cool to pull, but let's, uh, oh, this is definitely a snack from the feel of it. It just kind of does stink, because you kind of ruin the surprise for yourself, and my gosh, look at this little guy! What is your name? Oh, it's a little cat, dude. Holy crud, is he a Nekomata like Jibanya? Probably not, but uh... Not bad, sweet. I, you know, I was like, I'm actually kind of happy. I got a lot more snacks than uh, treasures, but I definitely... <laughs> definitely am picking up another box. This is not the last one of this, but our final treasure box. What's it gonna have, guys? I have no stinking idea. Oh man, I can't even tell. Let's open it up though. I can't wait any longer. Snack World, here I come with... <gasps> what the heck is this? I think this is the wood axe. Nice, so I got an axe. So now I have a lot of uh, diversity with my weapons, but man, check that out. That's pretty cool, not gonna lie. It's got even a little squirrel on it. That's the brand, uh, Chloris, I guess. I don't know how you'd say that, but not bad. This is actually a ton of fun. Too bad it didn't last too long though. We're all out. So now, it's time for the recap. So, we ended up getting the super rare, uh, Genie Bros, as I'll call them right now, which I'm pretty happy with, and the Crystal Sword! Which is kind of how Chup says it. All in all, those were the best pulls, but, meh, I'm pretty happy with it. We also got some other toys we can mess around with. We got the Striped Sword, the Cyber Knife, I guess, and the fan, and this little, like, you know, axe. And all in all, I don't know, it's really hard to show off the functionality that the uh, snacks have before the game is out, but just looking at them is pretty fun. You can't really see them if I stack them like that, but yeah, I don't know. I think the Snack World's toy line is pretty darn cool, all things considered. Definitely going to try and get another box, though, but what did you guys think? Are you interested in the Snack World or not, or is... Yo-Kai Watch, just, you know, all you're really interested in. Personally, I think this is an amazing move on Level 5's front because only so many people can be interested in Japanese mythology, but a super casual role-playing game that's kind of funny and has little monsters and collectible, I think is going to be really, really cool. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Stay tuned for more Snack World videos. Because, yeah, I bought a lot of toys, and we're going to check them out eventually. Will I ever get that super rare 1% drop for the Blood Sword? Probably not, but I'm going to try and track it down anyways. <laughs> Anywho, thank you all so much for watching. Snack World comes out next month. Hope you guys are pumped. And, yeah, see you next time with more unboxing videos. Bye.